Welcome to this Palladium accounting tutorial, which will be focused on the delivery cost feature within Palladium. The purpose of this feature is to allow users to set up delivery charges based on an array of variables, such as item weights, volumetric weights, number of units ordered, a fixed price, or even based on distance to a client. The delivery cost function is a three-step process. Firstly, we'll take a look at creating a delivery method and setting up a couple of billing methods within that one delivery method. Then we'll demonstrate how you link a delivery method to a client. And lastly, we'll have a look at the functionality of this feature on a sales document. Step one, create a delivery method. To do this, we need to select on the warehouse module, select on the delivery methods icon. Now on this pop-up screen, we will see the previously created delivery methods. To create a new one, select New, input your code and description. Palladium allows its users to set up multiple billing methods within the one delivery method, based on various variables, as you can see here. In this example, we're going to go with distance to client. Now, in the case that we're unwilling to deliver to clients below a certain fee, Palladium allows you to opt to have a minimum charge. In this instance, we'll make it 30 rand. Palladium allows its users ample flexibility when creating a pricing structure. For instance, we have the option of setting up a delivery cost based on a fixed rate, meaning that the delivery rate will remain constant regardless of any variables. For instance, the delivery rate applicable will be identical for a client based 100 kilometers away as a client only based 10 kilometers away. Alternatively, users may utilize the fixed cost option that allows users to create a pricing structure based on a given range of the variable's value. As you can see here, I've set up a pricing matrix. So from 1 to 10 kilometers, we charge a delivery rate of 100 rand. From 11 to 20, we charge 250 rand. And from 21 to 30, we charge 400 rand, and so forth. To go even further, users may set up a pricing structure based on variable cost per unit, where the precise value of the independent variable is multiplied by the amount linked to the specific range that value falls into. For example, to help us differentiate between the two, on the fixed cost option, a client with a distance of 15 kilometers will be charged a rate of 250 rand. Whereas if we apply the variable cost per unit option to the same client, the delivery rate will be 3,750 rand. This is because the 15 kilometers is multiplied by the amount linked to the group that this distance falls into. In this case, the 15 kilometers falls into this range and is therefore multiplied by 250, which just gives us the value of 3,750 rand. Step two, we will now link a delivery method to a Pacific client. To do this, we need to go to the customer master file of the Pacific client, go to the settings tab, and now we're going to assign Michael Myers to the delivery method we just created now, which was road. It's important to note, because in this example we're using the billing method of distance to client, it's imperative that in the customer master file, under the shipping locations tab, that the client has a distance assigned to them. Likewise, it's equally imperative when we adopt a billing method based on volumetric weight or total mass, that in the inventory master file, it's critical that items have weight and dimensions assigned to them. Step three, we'll now address the functionality of this feature on a sales document. Now for demonstration purposes, let's recall a couple of important pieces of information. So for Michael Myers, he has a distance of eight kilometers. Going back to the delivery method we created, the distance of eight kilometers falls within this bracket. Therefore, on the sales invoice, or any sales document for that matter, we anticipate that the delivery rate will be 100 rand. Now here on a sales invoice, if I select the customer Michael Myers, 
you'll see that it's automatically brought up the default delivery method of road and also as anticipated as brought through the delivery rate of 100 Rand. Furthermore, just to allow users even greater flexibility, although this is the default delivery method for this client, we are by no means restricted to utilize this delivery method. If I select on this tab, we have access to the other created delivery methods. And once selected, we'll automatically adjust the delivery cost accordingly. And that concludes this tutorial. If you enjoyed this tutorial or found it useful, please remember to hit subscribe, like, or comment below. Just to show our gratitude for you watching the video, please make a note of the discount code provided on the screen now, which will entitle you to 25% off your next training session with us, whether it be online, on-site, or even classroom-based. If you'd like to get in touch with us directly, please contact us on the details provided now. And if you'd like to keep up to date with all the latest ongoings with Palladium, please sign up to our newsletter. Thanks again, and enjoy the rest of your day.